it's so great to be here in mainland Polynesia. <laughs> There's Polynesians everywhere in Provo, huh? And it's a clean town, no homeless. Hawaii, homeless people all over the place. Homeless, that's the best part about living in Hawaii, right? Beautiful weather every day. That's where you want to be homeless. <laughs> but it's pretty sad. So uh, we started a nonprofit where we uh, hand out Bluetooth to the homeless. You know, that way when they're walking around, talking to themselves. <laughs> they kind of look legit, you know. <laughs> Back home, we get the, we get the homeless haka. You guys ever saw the homeless haka? They got him here. <laughs> Talking to, oh no, he has a Bluetooth. He must be yelling at his wife. <laughs> then you know what happens when you leave the islands, you come to the mainland, and the first thing we do, because we live in the middle of the ocean, we look for other Hawaii people. And we can usually spot them out. Boom, you see him with the Aloha shirt. Maybe we do a little bit of this, our gang sign. Huh? Shaka. We have stickers on cars. Just look around, Hawaii. Oh, he's from Hawaii. Or oh, the Polynesian tattoos. That's all you have to do now. Hmm? Polynesian tattoo. I got one, I got a Polynesian tattoo. I had to take off my ex-wife's name. <laughs> so I had like authentic, you know, I had the whole, you know, not the gun. I had the ta 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 into the, into the chest. Yeah, just cover the name. No, look. This guy did the whole Candyland map around <laughs> the Areola area. <laughs> I was like, ah, ah. <laughs> All right, it's a good Utah crowd. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. It's awesome coming to the mainland and I get to be Mexican for three days. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not Polynesian. My dad is full-blooded Filipino. My mom is white. So when you mix white and, and, and brown, Mexican, right? On it, like, <laughs> you can't run away from it. In Hawaii, we know, because we're so multicultural, we, and we know each other's nationality. Like, I know Korean, Japanese, Filipino, I know. Here, huh? hey, Mexican. <laughs> you just have to deal with it, it's okay. So I know, look, I was in Los Angeles two days ago. I'm out getting my coffee first thing in the morning. You know, I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, on the main. White truck pull up. You need work? You need work? You need work? Come on! Uh, uh, I'm gonna get coffee. I'm Filipino. Come on, you need work? And I have Filipino uncles with a heavy accent. You ever talk to a Filipino man with a heavy accent? Yeah, love talking to him, make me laugh. Hey, my Filipino uncle, I was like talking to him about COVID. I was like, you can get the vaccine? Boxing? Oh yeah, I like boxing, that's good. <laughs> Manny Pacquiao, number one Filipino boxer in the whole wide world, good boxing. Oh, I like that. Wow, I like the boxing. No, uncle, the vaccine for COVID, vaccine. No, I don't like that. That's the devil. I don't like that. That's not good. <laughs> don't need the shot. I don't need the shot. I put Vicks. I put Vicks. The Vicks, the Vicks paper rice. I put the Vicks and I eat soup. You eat soup. You take Tylenol. You put mask. You social distance. You sick place. But boxing, okay, boxing, that's the one. Filipinos, we box. I box. I was in 1986. Golden Gloves champion for Hawaii. Yeah. There's pros and cons to that. Pros and cons to that when you do real good and you, you, you represent your family, you know, what happens is you go to parties and they all like test you out because you're the guy, right? You go to the party, but it's like, hey, I heard you uh, box. I'm gonna put the gloves on, let me see what you got. Like, nah, come on, I'm here for general, general party. Put the gloves on, okay? <laughs> come on, hit me. <laughs> All right, you see how I block? You see how I block? That's the peekaboo style. <laughs> <laughs>
Protect your head, protect your body, okay? Watch it, I'm gonna hit you. Boom, oh, oh, you gonna make rough, huh? Okay, come on, ha, ha, boom, stupid. <laughs> grandma, you okay, Grandma? Grandma? <laughs> I told you, I never like play. Come on, Grandma. Open your mouth, here's your teeth. Ah, ah. I grew up in public housing. I grew up, there's, yeah, there's public housing in Hawaii. I grew up poor. I grew up around a lot of Polynesians in public housing. All my friends were big Samoan guys. Yeah, we used to sit around and dream that maybe one day we'll have a Samoan superhero, or a Polynesian superhero. We got him, Jason Momoa, The Rock, yeah? Because we dreamt. We put it out there in the universe. We used to sit there and go, can you imagine a Samoan superhero? Come on, Utah. You see them, how big these guys are? By day, they're the custodian. <laughs> <laughs> but at night, he becomes Super Sole Suka. <laughs> super Sole, Super Sole. Someone's trying to steal a, someone's trying to steal a car. Pass me, my, pass me my Super Rock. Pass me my Super Rock. <laughs> Get away from the car. <laughs> we didn't have the white Santa Claus. We had the Samoan Santa Claus. <laughs> He'd be like, hey, Sally Favave, come over here. Come over here, what is your name? Augie? Ugly? <laughs> no, Santa, Augie. That's what I said, Ugly. Santa, Augie, Ugly, Augie. Hey, hey, don't yell at me. I'm gonna punch your face, Ugly. <laughs> and you really gonna be Ugly, Ugly. <laughs> I sit and watch TV shows. Had Survivor Samoa. Anybody saw Survivor Samoa? You look like you're a Polynesian guy. What nationality? Uh, All right on. Chew! Yeah. All right, perfect. See, that's a sentence right there in Hawaii, right? Chew! Chew! Yeah, all right, all right. We speak a different dialect. I don't know if you guys know this. You go to Hawaii. By the way, anybody from Hawaii tonight? Clap your hands. Three. Anybody ever been to Hawaii? All right, so you know, right? We have our own unique language. Like, we talk differently from everybody else. That's another thing that we listen for when we're on the mainland, right? We're listening for that. We don't talk in complete sentences. <laughs> we cut everything in half. Like, an average person would say, hey, Billy, I'll see you on the weekend. Have a great one. Local guys, we just go, okay. And then we leave, we're done. <laughs> we don't say, can you please repeat that? I don't understand what you're saying. Please repeat that. We don't say stuff like that, we just go, Huh? That's it, that's all we do. We're very simple-minded people. <laughs> simple. But I'm watching Survivor Samoa, and I'm like, where's the Samoans? Where are the Polynesians? I would love to have seen like an immunity challenge. You know, they got all the people out on the beach. All right, for today's immunity challenge, Ofe is gonna come out of the bushes and punch you in your face. If you can take that, you win immunity. <laughs> Stay still, close your eyes, close your eyes. <laughs> Growing up poor in Hawaii in Christmas time suck. How many, how many of you guys grew up poor? Clap your hands. So, hey, there's a lot of people. Um, Christmas, poor not having, you know how junk, we only could afford one walkie talkie. That's how bad it was. <laughs> You had to share, you know? Ernie, Ernie, you there? <laughs> yeah, where you stay? Right over here, stupid. I'm getting mad, I'll tell my dad, Dad, can you buy us walkie-talkies? My dad will look at us, walkie-talkie, too expensive. Make cup and string. How many of you guys remember cup and string? You look like you played cup and string a long time ago. <laughs> yeah? Remember cup and string? Your brother would be 25 feet away. Ernie, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, Ernie, I can hear you. That's because you're 25 feet away. This walkie-talkie sucks, Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> we go up poor. Couldn't 
couldn't afford books, right? So my parents used to read us the electric bill. <laughs> I couldn't relate to any of the kids at camp. You know, everybody's talking about the boogeyman. Me and my brother talking about the electric man. <laughs> he came out. Toys for Tots, remember Toys for Tots? Now it's n new gifts. When we was growing up, it was like, you know, uh, what do they call that? Slightly used. Yeah, we had Toys for Tots. Like used, get like G.I. Joe without the arm. <laughs> Barbie dog with leukemia. You guys know what I'm saying? <laughs> Got all the dots in her head, couple strands here sticking out. <laughs> 